Today's tale begins in a midtown landmark. Uptown from Times Square, downtown from the park. Above subway cars loud under skyscrapers tall is the most hallowed space of Carnegie Hall. Now this is a story that seems hard to believe, but it's true as the truth and as real as can be. Just atop the grand stage of Carnegie Hall lives a kind-hearted rat who answers to Paul. And unlike all the rest of Paul's rodent kin, a love of fine music lives deep inside him. Yes, the sonatas of Mozart and Bach's harmonies make Paul feel alive, make him weak at the knees. Paul loved music so much that he took up conducting, that he learned from a school of Russian instructing. All across New York City, our rat hero conducts to the tunes of the subways and taxis and trucks. From the beats of the day to the notes of the night, each sound of the city gave Paul such delight. Then one day, as Paul walked down 51st Street, when a poster above him made his heart skip a beat, the world's top conductor, Gustav the Great, was to play in New York. Paul could hardly wait. This man was Paul's hero, a real godlike figure that Paul had admired since his days in the litter. So the elderly Russian arrived into town with 12 bags in tow and his trademark frown. Paul dressed to the nines, almost to the tens, and his face was a smile from end to the end. And so Gustav appeared, and the audience gazed as the 90-year-old hobbled out onto the stage. But before the first note had the chance to be heard, he coughed and he spluttered, he moaned and he slurred. And he grabbed at his chest and did show his age as he promptly dropped dead right there on the stage. The audience gasped. An oboist fainted. The loveliest of evenings looked most certainly tainted. The silence so silent, not one soul said a word. Then the strangest of feelings deep inside Paul stirred. He thought, hold on a minute, could this really be? the grandest of chances for them to watch me? So Paul took the moment, breathed in, looked around, and he grabbed his baton and fell to the ground. And proving to all that dreams can be lived, Paul made the stage sing and made the night his. To himself and the city, Paul showed it was so that such beauty could come from an unlikely maestro. Yes, few in New York will forget the night that its symphony orchestra was led by a rat.